uh, being an academic is not entirely unlike um, being an entrepreneur. So first you have to have an idea, uh, and then you have to develop your idea into a project. And typically nobody will have done this kind of project before, so it's entirely up to you how to define um, the, the work and the way in which you go about it. It'll be an entirely new terrain to cover and little guidance of exactly how, how to cover that terrain. Uh, being an academic also gives you a lot of freedom, uh, freedom to work in different places. There are many research institutions that one can visit. It gives you the freedom to work with different people because there are many collaborative projects and nobody can force you to work with people you don't like or on projects that you're not interested in. And it also gives you the freedom to work on different issues and to, if you want, to entirely reinvent yourself uh, at any point in time during your career. But being an academic also has some of the downsides, if you want, or the problems um, uh, of being an entrepreneur, which is that um, you have very long-term projects, so it takes a long time to actually realize a project. There will be setbacks along the way. You might have worked on a project for years, and in spite of all your efforts, the project may not be rewarded by the kind of success you think it deserves. It also can be a little bit lonely, you know, you, sometimes it can be comfortable to have somebody telling you what you should, to do, should do and um, maybe not take all the responsibility for your actions. As an academic, you don't really have that kind of uh, luxury. And finally, as an academic, you also, a bit like an entrepreneur, have a market for your, for your product. So, you know, there's an, an audience for academic research and um, the fads and fashions. And if you're working on a, on a topic or with a methodology that uh, may not be in sync with, uh, with the fashion of the day, then it may be a bit harder to find an audience for your kind of project. So to summarize, I would say as an academic, uh, being an academic um, requires um, creativity, uh, independence, perseverance, and also an ability to deal with uh, setbacks. So now I've talked about research, which makes about uh, one third of the time you spend as an academic, but I don't think I'll have the time to talk about the other two thirds, which is administration and teaching, because that, those are probably aspects that are um, a bit easier to imagine what they, what they might be like. So.